I'm Josh Poulin. We're at Poulin Farms in Newport, Vermont, where we milk all jerseys, about 360 of them, and we have about 800 on site with all the calves and heifers and everything. This farm's been in my family for 40 years. A lot of history on the farm. Wanted to keep the land and keep agriculture in this part of the state. My name is Chris Hill. I'm the salesperson for Laley Center New England, and I also work with farmers in designing their barns and figuring out how the robots may work for them. Josh came to us when he first started thinking about starting a new dairy. He right away was looking towards robotic technology. It would have been very difficult for him to be able to run two businesses without the benefits you know, on the labor and management side that the robots would give him. In the barn, we have six A4s, six Luna brushes, four manure collectors, the vector system, the two MFRs, three Laley Calm calf feeders, and there's a Juno in the dry cow barn. So when we put the barn up in 2017, I was thinking that we would probably add vectors at some point in time. We didn't do that right at the beginning. So we had the milking robots and a Juno feed pusher for almost three years before we put the vectors in. You know, now that we're a few years down the road, he was at the point where his herd had grown. He was going to need a larger mixer wagging. So he decided that was a good time to re revisit the vector. Lately North America and the, the dealership gave me a calculator on how long we were feeding a day, what the costs were going to be of the MFRs and the vector system, and definitely had all that information and all that work through in the budget to make sure that it was something that was going to be a good investment. So they were very involved in trying to educate me and help me make the best decision that would obviously fit at this farm. The system was just about a five-year payback between the flexibility that it gives us and what we've gained for forages, uh, the consistency, the rumination. So I can't put a number on all of those things, but I do think it's been a good addition to the farm. We have the com boxes. We have one box for corn silage, one box for haylage, and the smaller box right now he has chopped straw in. So these will be turned on by the system as needed and they just feed onto a conveyor belt, which then loads the MFR, the mixing robot. We knew we were gonna need more than one. So these work in tandem where they'll alternate going out, pushing up the feed, using the laser to read how much feed is left around the bunk, and then coming back and mixing up a load and delivering that to that section of a pen. Instead of coming in with a feed wagon twice a day and all the cows get up and eat, now they're much more spread out and they, they tend to do a lot more things. They watch the vector, they look for fresh feed, so if you have one section of the bunk that's, you know, they're eating at and the MFR will come down through and feed, and when it feeds, they'll, you'll see cows start to move down to that fresh feed. It's an interesting concept. They learn over time, so it didn't take very long and they, they had it figured out. Uh, one thing I have noticed big time is um, we don't have a lot of refusals of feed and the diesel and the labor savings and the flexibility really seem to make sense for us there. If I had to do it again, I would definitely put in the uh, vector system. I think it's been, so far, a good addition to the farm. The collectors do a really good job, and I like the fact that they picked up the manure so that, like, with an alley scraper, you know, you come down through and it's pushing uh, a lot of manure and the cows are constantly stepping in it. So as they drive around the barn, they're actually sucking the manure up into themselves with a small negative pressure and then carrying it. There's no pile of manure being pushed around the barn, so the floor is always clean which keeps the feet drier, which then keeps them healthier, less susceptible to injuries. The stalls then are cleaner because the cows aren't tracking as much manure into the barn. I didn't see how with, with two businesses I was gonna run both businesses without automation. So one of the things that automation does big for me here at Pool and Farms with running another business is the ability to be able to look at things, whether it's you know, on my cell phone or on my computer from different avenues, be able to manage things, keep track of data that I may not be able to do with other systems. So I really didn't see how I would be able to manage a herd of this size in a conventional way. I think that's one of the benefits is just trying to be able to get all the stuff done you need to do with the cows, make sure they're taken care of, make sure that everything's done right. The stuff works, the technology is really good. It's a fairly easy process to run, it makes sense. It's well built, the robots work day in and day out very, very consistent, strong product, and seems like there's constant improvement in trying to, to get things to be better. And that full commitment from Lele to robotics at the dairy level.